Like Shirek, Shirek, nigga. Like I'm in Shirek, nigga. Let's go. Like Shirek, Shirek, nigga. Like I'm in Shirek, nigga. Let's go. Like Shirek, Shirek, nigga. Like I'm in Shirek, nigga. I come from Philly, but you know why I rap do the same damn thing like Shirek, nigga. Let's go. Looking online and I'm seeing things. And right now we got a situation with 40 Cal. It's kind of giving some news right now. Now I'm looking and 40 Cal goes ahead and he puts out a post. Now I don't know if this is true or not. I haven't heard anything about it. But if this is true, it's been kept well under wraps. That's all I want to say. But I'm looking and 40 Cal goes ahead and he puts out a post saying, got some crazy news. I'm about to drop a surprise battle. The face off will be dropping ASAP, nobody's seen this coming. Stay tuned for details. FYI, my opponent was undefeated, but I think they saying I won. Stay tuned. Hashtag history. Listen to me. You know what I'm saying? So this is what 40 Cal is saying. You know what I mean? I think 40 Cal is trolling, but he told me that this is true. You know what I'm saying? So we'll end up seeing about this. And I'm starting to see he's going back and forth with E Hart, and he's kind of trying to get engaged with battle rap fans. You know, they got criticisms and critiques, and he's responding to all of it. My personal opinion, I think it's the right way to move, you know, to where you're at least showing the fans that you're listening to everything that they're saying. This is one thing that Cassidy wouldn't do. He wouldn't listen to nobody. And we've seen the end result of what happened with Cassidy. You know what I'm saying? Now nobody wants to see him. And I don't even know if he can get booked again. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect to Cass, but that is what it is. This should be where Cassidy is right now to where people want to see him get booked again and want to talk about him. You know what I'm saying? But hopefully one one day soon, things could change around for Cassidy, but sometimes you got to listen to what people are saying in order to better yourself and put the ego aside. Now, I'm looking, and it looks like Hip Hop Is Real has been putting out a series of interviews, and in the interviews, they've been talking, you know what I mean? They've been talking to J.R. Ryder, and they've been talking to Cortez about a potential for a battle between both of them to go down. Now, my personal opinion about all this is I kind of feel like, you know, no disrespect, but J.R. Ryder, you ain't been what you used to be. And, you know, I mean no malice when I say that, but I looked at the views that you got on your recent video, which I think the video was dope, and I think the music in the video was actually nice, you know what I'm saying? But you haven't gotten really any video views, so I don't know whether or not the public are just not interested, or maybe they kind of just lost touch from what you used to do or who you are, you know what I'm saying? So right now, Battle Rap seems Seems to be the saving grace. This is going to come down to whether or not you want to take this opportunity and to battle Cortez. You know, like some people kind of look at it like Cortez is not who he used to be. You know, he's not the most entertaining battle rapper, but he is surgical and he does know what he's doing in the ring. And, you know, when it comes down to a battle between him and J.R. Ryder, he may end up, you know, being the better person like in that battle. You know, I will say this J.R. Ryder does have bars. And I've seen a battle of his from a long time ago. You know, do that, you know, all of that make me think that he can beat Cortez? I don't think so, you know, but we got to think about what makes sense. Does a league want to take the chance on booking Cortez, you know, knowing that the battle rap community as a whole don't really be checking for him all like that? And this is no diss to Cortez. I rock with Cortez, you know what I mean? And I'm one of the people that, you know, do have positive things to say about Cortez, but I have to be be real on my platform i don't think cortez is gonna draw as many people you know as a jr rider you know but does he have to draw as many people as a jr rider i don't think so i kind of think it just has to make sense and the league just has to be willing to take a chance you know on the battle like that now if it was me you know on my platform i think most bloggers have enough subscribers to where we can like start our own leagues but if it's me and my platform thinking about putting a battle on like this if i had the budget for it i probably would put on other battles before i would do this one you know what i'm saying because we know jr rider is probably gonna ask for a big bag you know and with him asking for a big bag it doesn't make sense you know me as a, a battle rap fan it just doesn't you know he doesn't have really any work out there to really you know justify his worth we would just be tuning in and try to see whether or not we're gonna see a battler or i should say an industry person get slaughtered you know what i'm saying but you know he's been kicking it and rocking with 40 cal 40 cal has been one of these people that's kind of been in tune with battle rap so maybe he could 
coach, if not, give some pointers to, you know, J.R. Ryder about what he could potentially do in the ring with Cortez. But J.R. Ryder, I understand you have something to lose because if you get in the ring with Cortez, he could potentially beat you, you know. And if he beats you in a battle, you know, it's not going to be good for your brand that's kind of holding on by a hair string, you know what I'm saying. But shout out to you. Hopefully, you know, everything that you're doing will end up working out, you know what I'm saying. But right now, I don't think that this will make sense for a league to put on. I see Cortez, you kind of putting the pressure on J.R. Ryder and you kind of educating him about the situation. Now, I will say Cortez is spitting and dropping a lot of knowledge, but at the same time, you got to be able to generate interest, you know, for the battle rap fans to want to see you, you know, and I know if I was to do a blog on Cortez right now, just Cortez responding to somebody, if I don't have a platform like Hip Hop Is Real or 15 Minutes of Fame, it probably won't get, you know, the viewership that he would get on a platform like that. You know what I'm saying? So we got to think about that also. You know, if I do a blog on franchise versus, you know what I mean, or a blog on Cortez with two different topics, they were probably, in my opinion, from me doing blogs on both of these people, kind of get similar type of views. You see what I'm saying? So we got to think. You're going to pay a big payment, you know, to J.R. Ryder to kind of show up. He's already talking about he don't really want to battle all like that. You know what I'm saying? I think he just said something on Angry Fans Radio that kind of he probably shouldn't have said, and it kind of got him into a lot of fire. And I think a lot of the pressure that he's got on him is warranted. You know, I don't really blame Cortez for taking advantage of this, but you know, he kind of already said, you know, in his latest interviews that he don't think that you're a bad rapper. He actually thinks that you're pretty nice. He just doesn't feel like, you know, the battle would make sense. He didn't downplay you at all. He just said it doesn't make sense. But before he took every shot in the goddamn book, you know what I'm saying? So I see why you were kind of upset about that, Cortez. But me as a fan, thinking about it, if this battle was to get booked and it was to go down, would I want to blog on this battle or generate interest for this battle? And the honest answer is no. You know what I mean? I would actually have to be hit up by a league and, you know, maybe some sort of incentive for me to even want to, you know, blog on a battle like this, you know what I mean? Because I kind of think I know what the outcome would be and, you you know, there's nothing really there for me like with J.R. Ryder other than, you know, he had like a good run with Dipset. Same thing with 40 Cal, but when you look at 40 Cal, 40 Cal is a battle rapper with real serious battles behind him. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he just got in the ring with Ill Will and he did pretty well, you know, and when you listen to his bars versus J.R. Ryder's bars, his bars, 40 Cal's bars is more set up for a battle, you know what I'm saying, so that's why I thought that he wouldn't be horrible in a battle, I thought he would do decent, you know what I mean, whereas J.R. Ryder, he does have some sort of battle bars in there, but for the most part, his industry, you know what I mean, he's not really built like that, you know what I mean, but y'all tell me what y'all think, but it did sound like to me, J.R. Ryder, that you was throwing some shots in at Cortez, you know what I mean, but y'all tell me what y'all think, is this a battle that y'all want to see, or is this a battle that you know, you kind of don't want to see. It's just here for the day. You know, people are doing interviews about it, talking about it, and this would kind of fade out. I think if there was a league that was to put this on, I think it would probably more than likely be Rare Breed Entertainment. And with Trump trying to put everything back to business for what it, how it was, get everybody back to work, it looks like Battle Rap is more than likely going to start back up again. They're just waiting on a couple of approvals to go through, and then everybody can go back to work and, you know, do business business as usual you know what i'm saying but we do have the coronavirus out there so you gotta think about your health do you want to get in the ring right now you know that's something you're gonna have to think about do your research on that but you know my personal opinion does the battle between jr Ryder make sense it does make sense does it make financial sense you know i think this is kind of be you know a bad move you know if i was a league to try to put this down but y'all tell me what y'all think don't get mad at me you know i'm a blogger i do have a right to have an opinion, you know, and I don't feel like this is a great financial move. I would rather put money up against 40 cow versus somebody else because you know you're going to get the blogs that's going to come. You're going to get the trolling that he's doing right now, you know, on Twitter. He's going to try to incite people to want to battle and try to sell the fight. You know, now he's a little bit more comfortable. He kind of knows what they want and battle rap. I think he's more engaged and I think he's willing to kind of market a little bit more 
whereas you may get an egotistical, you know, industry person like J.R. Ryder, even though I'm seeing that he's showing respect, you know, to the battle rap community, but for him to think his skill set is that to where he can mess with, you know, Cortez or beat Cortez, I think he may be borderline and on the line of delusion. You know what I'm saying? But this is no disrespect to Cortez, and this is no disrespect to, you know, J.R. Ryder. We're just bloggers, and we call it for how we see it. You know what I mean? And right now, I don't think you can beat Cortez, but if you want to get in that ring and show people that you can, make sure you know what you getting involved in because in that ring, all bets are off. You know what I'm saying? Let y'all sign a contract. The certain things can't be talked about. Everything and anything will be used against you in the court of battle rap. And you saw 40 Cal's third round, what he was willing to do and what Big K was willing to do. You know what I'm saying? So y'all tell me what y'all think. J.R. Ryder, deal with all this. You know what I'm saying? J.R. Ryder, there is a microscope on you and I ain't gonna lie. You know, people kind of wondering if you're gonna say yes to a battle with Cortez. And I will say Say this there's people that might be able to put money up to see a battle like this happen you know but you got to think about your brand and what you doing you know but if i was to give you advice business wise i would tell you to maybe consider doing a battle with cortez so you can get the bag and you can get your name back up because right now nobody's checking for you but if i was a league i would probably think twice about booking a battle between jr rada and cortez now a ball can be put together to kind of try to make it make sense you know, you can pull like a battle from J.R. Ryder or listen to a couple of his bars and try to think that can maybe work, you know. But when you think about the work that Cortez has put in, the type of caliber battle rappers that he stood in, for, in front of, the monsters that he's battled, you know, and you think about what J.R. Ryder has done, I don't think there's any way in hell that J.R. Ryder can mess with Cortez in the ring. But y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comment section below. Comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what y'all think about that and make sure you hit that notification bell i got some blogs that i gotta finish editing and put out you know what i'm saying and you know i will say this you know we also have to be reasonable you know when you're a battle rapper or you are an industry artist that kind of fell off battle rap may be your new safe haven you know sometimes you win a battle sometimes you lose a battle you know but the the fire can be lit there's a plethora of different media outlets right now they'll be willing you know to kind of talk about this situation to get you buzzing again and you already know some people are in tune with battle rap you got noriega you've got royce the five nine eminem all these people seem to be in tuned and interested in what's going on with battle rap you know so it wouldn't be a bad move hot nine seven you know they kind of touch on battle rap and talk about it from you know time to time we see the breakfast club sometimes they talk about it they may have some people on from battle rap you know funk flex so it's growing it's getting bigger drake didn't sign on with caffeine drake is constantly talking about battle rap or battle rappers you know so this is not a small thing and i think you kind of know that if you get involved you're either gonna have to be all the way in or you probably don't need to get involved in this because a lot of people will either see you have a debatable win the battle or get slaughtered you know and you got a lot riding on your brand but like I said earlier, when you ain't getting views all like that, you might want to consider, you know, moving into the realm of battle rap. But y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comment section. This is not a blog to try to stop somebody's back. You know what I mean? If y'all can make money, by all means, if you can find a league to put it on, do it. You know, but I got to be real with y'all. I don't think that this battle, you know what I mean, or the battle rapper Cortez is going to bring a big draw, you know, but that's just my opinion on it. He could feel some different type of way, you know what I mean? And there's no disrespect to him, like I said, but that's my opinion. Come read, subscribe, let me know what y'all think about that. Peace.